What is up team? Welcome back to work and welcome back to day 17 of the RIPPED program. We got a lower body workout on the books for today. Let's hop into the warm up and I'll walk us through our first circuit. We're gonna start out feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed out, we're going to toe touch squats. So keeping those legs straight, reach down, grab the front of your toes, bend the knees, chest up, drive back up, 10 reps. Try to open up at the hips, sit into those heels, get those legs loosened up. Ten reps. Then we're gonna go a high toe touch, so you're stepping back, reach across, back, toe touch. Five each side. Step back. You can bend that knee slightly. And then we're going into 10 good mornings. Hands behind your head, feet are a little closer together. Slight bend in those knees. Push your hips back towards the wall, feeling a nice stretch, hamstrings and glutes. 10 reps, reps. Then we're going into three reverse lunges with a rotation. So let me hop it in here. Rotate your back on one knee, Sergio KT, what's up? Hop into the warm up, rotating. As you touch that knee on the ground, you can rest. Rotate towards the forward leg, three each side. Then we're going three inchworms with a push up. Start at the bottom of your mat. Reach down, walk out to a nice plank. Full push up. Walk back in three times through. Then we're going 10 arm circles forward, 10 in reverse. And let's get into it. Ten in reverse. And then ten crosses. Alright, so first circuit up today, team. We got very simple circuit. We are going goblet split squats, right and left. 60 second intervals. 30 seconds of rest between each movement and a 45 second rest between each round. I'm gonna start out with a 30 pound dumbbell. We're holding it goblet style. So in the front here, and we're gonna set up in our split squat stance. So, planted on your right foot, most of your weight forward, up on your back toe. One, two, three, let that back knee kiss the ground and drive up through that front heel. So from the front here, up on the back toe, Try to keep that chest vertical, down, drive back up. This is a longer interval, so you might wanna go a little lighter, and we are doing a little bit of a tempo work, so focus on the three seconds down to the ground, explode back up. So we're going 60 seconds right leg forward, 30 seconds rest, so a little longer rest break, 60 seconds left leg forward, and then 45 seconds, super simple circuit. We're working three rounds through team, any questions? Let's do it. 10 second countdown like always. 60 seconds on that right leg. If you get tired of holding here, the low back starts to hurt, you can drop it down to the side if you need to. Three, two, one, tempo. One, two, three, touch, drive. 60 seconds. Keep all that weight on the front leg. Drive through that front heel. Focus. 
focus on pulling yourself down with your hamstring and glute on that right leg and driving up through the left. Short rests are okay. Keep that dumbbell close to your body. Twelve seconds, team. Five, three, one, and rest. Thirty seconds. Set that weight down. Shake out the legs a little bit. Left leg. Sixty seconds. This is kind of your test around. See which weight feels good. See what you can last through at sixty seconds, and adjust next round. Like I said, if, you're, if you get tired, you can drop the weight down here on the leg that's back. Get set up guys, three, two, left leg forward, work. All that weight should be loaded forward. The back leg is there just to balance you. Focus on your breathing. Drive through that front heel. Nice work, team. 25 left. The burning sensation should be setting in about now. 10 seconds, come on. Two, one, rest. 45 seconds, team. Ask yourself how that first set felt. Could you go a little heavier? I can, I'm going 40. Also, if you only have two light dumbbells, instead of holding goblet, you can put them up on your shoulders, grab the inside of the dumbbell, and rest the other edge on your shoulder. If you want to go heavier and you don't have a heavier dumbbell, grab two. 10 seconds, team. Two more rounds through this. Let's go. It's a little bit like grunt work here. Three, two, one. Right leg. Halfway through, come on. Good reps. Get that chest vertical, let that knee track in front of the toe, keeping that foot planted. Let that back knee kiss. 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, woo, 30 seconds team, left leg, deep breaths, let's get it, 10 seconds guys, let's set up with that left leg forward, in three, two, one, work. Squeeze that left quad at the top. Seek out that pain, good pain, muscular pain. Don't stop. 
15 seconds. Seven, hang in there. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Legs are feeling it after that one. One more round, guys, come on. Nice deep breaths, in and out of the nose, try to control that breathing. Get some oxygen into the most legs. These rest breaks are important. 20 seconds, guys. Let's get ready to work. Start setting up. Five, three, one, work. Last round through. Focus on your breathing. Keep that heart rate under control. Woo, come on. 20 seconds. Oh, little rest. 10 seconds. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. Oh, left leg coming up. Getting a little jello, we are ready. How are we doing? Some of you requested these 60 second intervals, you like them. They come back for more. Sergio says no. Steve says yeah. Five seconds, guys. Left leg. Woo. Two. One. Work. This is it. Nice three minute rest coming up. Keep those abs tight. Thirty seconds, guys. Woo. Little breaks are okay. Reset. Right back into a fifteen. Huh. Eight seconds. Hang in there. Three, two, one. And rest, team. Woo! Three minutes rest. Circuit A in the books. Circuit B, we got the exact same format. 60 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, 45 between rounds. Two movements this time. Dumbbell deadlifts is our first move. I'm gonna demonstrate with a lighter weight. Give myself a break. So, Dumbbells are at your side. Feet are closer together than a regular squat. We're in a deadlift stance. So right underneath your hips, toes pointed out a little bit. Shoulder blades back and down, nice and tall. Keep that upper back position locked in. Push those hips back, keeping those dumbbells close to the body, driving up to the heel. The key here is that most of your bending comes through your hips, pushing back, nipples towards the floor, Slight bend in the knees. Keep those dumbbells as close to the body as you can. 60 seconds is a longer interval for this, so go a little lighter than you would a normal deadlift. So I'm gonna go 30s on this. But make sure you lock down the technique. Take short breaks in between every rep. It's gonna be challenging on the low back, which is good. We're working the low back, but it's gonna be a lot. So slight bend, low back, flat, push back towards the wall, nice and tall at the top. That's our first 60 seconds. 
30 seconds rest. And we're going bear squats. So these deadlifts are attacking the hamstrings and the glutes. We're gonna keep blowing up the quads. You're gonna set up in a piked position. So hips up high, feet about shoulder width apart. Arms locked out, drop those knees towards the ground, never touching the floor, and then squeeze back up. All your weight is down on your feet and not on your hands. The focus here is locking out the quads at the top, really squeezing for a quick pause to attack the front of your legs. Those are our two movements team. Any questions? On the, on the bear squats, the closer you move your feet in towards your hands, the harder it'll be. I really want you to focus on the eccentric or the way down slow. Feel those quads stretch. Ideally, your hamstring will hit your calf. Squeeze back up. Touch, squeeze. We good? 30 seconds, team. If you're ready for these deadlifts, I'm gonna grab my 30 pounds. The upper back is the key here. Keeping those shoulder blades down and back together. Hips back. Drive back up. Any questions? 10 seconds, guys, let's get it. 60 seconds of deadlift. Short breaks if you need it, drop the weight if necessary. One, let's work. Slight bend, head stays neutral. So keep that head looking down, slightly ahead maybe. Get a big stretch in those hamstrings. seconds. Take a nice slow descent. Really feeling that stretch in the hamstrings. Push the floor away with those heels. Trying to get your hamstrings and your butt engaged. Seven. Two. One. And rest. At the top of that movement, you're thinking about squeezing your butt like someone's gonna kick you in the ass. That's the mental focus I want you to have. 15 seconds, guys. Piked position. Knees dropping towards the ground. Focus on the burn on the quads. This one should hurt. <laughs> Three, two, one, work. Take it slow, squeeze. 60 seconds. Come on. We're over halfway through it. Come on. Woo. Lock out those knees hard at the top. Two, one. yourself if you can but be truthful with yourself don't try to overdo it five seconds deadlift team two one work drive dumbbells close to the legs 
That takes the strain off of the low back. Halfway team, come on. Keep those shoulder blades squeezed back in together. Eight, five, two, one, rest. Bear squats. Start setting up. Deep breaths. Ten seconds. Today is meant to be a little slower, guys, so embrace it. Go a little heavier if you can. These longer rest breaks are nice. One. Work. Zone out, focus on the legs. That's all I want you to think about. Woo! They burning. 12 seconds, come on. is on the quads, on those bear squats. All the intention is on the back side of the deadlift. Working the antagonizing muscles during the circuit. I'm gonna try to go 50s on the deadlift. Last one. Let's push it. 20 seconds, team. So last round. Nice break after this. Ten seconds. Last set of deadlifts. Let's get ready to work. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Take your time. Slow to the bottom, abs tight. Drive. Try not to take any rest if you can. You can move a little faster if you need to. Let's get ready. 10 seconds. Embrace that burn in the quads. Come on, three, two, one, and work. Come on. Try to get deep into that bottom without the knees touching.
12, come on, fight through it. Do anything for 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. Three minutes, team. Nice work. Woo. We got two circuits to go. Bad news is, well, they're almost the same format. Third circuit, same format, 60 on, 30 off, two movements. We're going low dumbbell squats, single, single dumbbell squats. So if you guys remember these, you can use a kettlebell, a dumbbell, whatever you got. I'm gonna go Big Bertha, but I'm gonna demonstrate with non-Big Bertha. So, holding between your legs. You're keeping a slight bend at the chest and you're only bending through the knees. So my chest stays at this same angle the whole time. If you're using a dumbbell, I like to grip it like this. Just grip both hands on the handle. Or if you have a small dumbbell, you can do over, like an over grip. You're gonna stay bent over because otherwise it's gonna hit you in a not so pleasant place. And you're gonna keep that chest vertical, driving up and down through the quads. So you can see my, my chest stays pretty much the same angle and my legs are like pistons, just bending at the knees. So we're going one minute. I actually may not go Big Bertha, I might go with this. After I thought about that minute. That's our first move. Second move, skaters. So, again, we're kind of attacking quads first, glutes on the second. You're gonna start one end of your mat on one leg, jump, land on soft knees, back and forth, 60 seconds, guys. I want you loading on that hip, landing on soft knee, and pushing through the heel and then toe. Explode through heel and toe. So from the side, it looks like this. I'm loaded, landing. Modifying this just means a shorter jump. So if you get tired, just go short. If you're feeling good, you can go the length of your mat. Maybe work your way in as you fatigue. Those are our two movements, team. Any questions? I'm gonna go 35 for the first set on these single dumbbell squats. Get a feel for it, see how, see how his legs are feeling and go from there. 35 seconds, guys, come on. Three rounds through. And then we got one more circuit after, after this, which thankfully is all core. So this is our final kind of circuit for the legs. Let's empty the tank. 15 seconds, team. Setting up. Dumbbell or kettlebells right underneath your feet. So you want it right in between your legs. Take some of the strain off the low back. Two, one, let's work team. 60 seconds, take your time. Keep your head neutral. Lock out those knees at the top. The only way you can do that is if you keep leaned over. Drive through the heels. Pull to the bottom, push out. Pull, push. 30 seconds. This is a bit of a grind. Fifteen. All the bending coming from the knees. Cake. Five. Three. Two. One. Press. Thirty seconds, guys. Skaters. Deep breaths, eight seconds. You can touch that foot down behind you to stabilize if you need to. Let's work team, two, one, go. Land on soft knees, take your time. 60 seconds, land, explode.
Come on, 23 left. Let's get it, team. Dig deep. Glutes are on fire. Four, two, one, rest. Woo! 45 seconds. Deep rest. Try to control it. Oh, that felt good. Ha! I'm sticking with that 35 this next round. I have a feeling, a strong feeling, that's gonna feel a lot heavier after those. Eight seconds, guys. We're back to those low dumbbell squats. Let's work. Three, one, go. Killing it. Nice form out there that I can see. Looks good. Let's go. Halfway. Take a deep breath if you need to. A little break. Slower is better here. 60 seconds is the long interval. Let's work. Load, pause. If you need to. My intent is a smooth, tempoed skater the whole time.
We got 50 second intervals, 20 seconds of rest. Lying leg lifts is our first move, three movements. So we're on our back, legs straight, hands at your side, legs come up, hips come up, legs come back down. Straight leg is the hardest variation, knees bent is a little easier. Down, let the heels touch, drive up. That's movement number one. Movement number two. 50 seconds, you're on your back, hands up straight, legs straight. Try not to use momentum. Keep your chin off of your chest, curl up, nice and slow back down. All the intention here, fully extend, drive back up. So, modification would be crunches. Knees bent, hands on your knees, crunch up till the hands reach the top of the knees. That's our second movement. And our third movement is a plank. A run of the mill plank on the elbows. You guys know the deal. Focus on crunching your abs, tilting your pelvis underneath. You can keep a slight bend in your knees just to keep that added tension. So you don't want to be like this. You want to be like this. You'll really feel the abs engage by unlocking those hips and squeezing, tucking your tailbone underneath. Those are our three moves, team. Any questions? We're going in 18 seconds. Today's a longer workout. Try to cut a few minutes off of it. Let's get it. Lying leg lifts in 10 seconds, team. Five, three, one, 50 seconds of work and go. Take your time. Try to get those feet straight up. Don't come too far over your head. Halfway through. Come on. Seven. We got 20 seconds of rest coming up. Three, two, one. Rest for 20. Mummy sit up, team. Woo! 10 seconds. 
Leg straight on your back. Crunches as a modification. And work. Slow on the way back down. Quality reps over quantity always.
that tailbone towards the chin. Breathe. Thirty seconds. Twenty. Nobody's like you. You are not normal at all. I feel like I want to. Short breaks are okay. Reset if you need to. Five. Two. One. Rest. 30 seconds, guys. One more round through. Come on, let's finish strong. 20 seconds. I'm modifying to bent knee leg raises. I'd rather focus on feeling it in my abs than feeling it in the low back or resting too much. What you guys do you? Five, three, two, one. Let's work. Woo! And then that hurts. Nobody's like us. When people see us, they know. Uh, Woo! I feel so 15 seconds, team. Short breaks are okay. Try to get right back into it. <sighs> Two. One. Rest. <laughs> that hurt. Mummy sit-ups. Oh. A little stretch. Legs straight. Three, two, one. Let's work. Modifying. Oh, abs are toasted. Hang in there guys, 25 seconds left. 20. 15. Come on, 10. Woo! Five. Three, two, one. And done. Oh. Nice work, team. Day 17 of Ripped in the books. Nice work, Zen. Get in here. You guys remember our schedule. The live schedule has changed for this week. We're still we're on tomorrow live and Thursday live. No live on Friday. And Saturday is a brand new workout posted, but no live workout. Next week, we'll be back to normal schedule. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for you guys that showed up live. Those of you doing it later, kick ass. Thank you, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place.